Hello and welcome to a very very exciting video on my channel and I've been wanting to share this for quite a while but I've also wanted to sort of get a few more things to show before I really announced it. So my announcement is that I have started my own little business called Bond Designs and I am making resin art. If you don't know what resin is, it's similar to a type of plastic so is two liquids mixed together they are they are two chemicals so you have to be extremely careful using them i have got all the mask gloves all of that um, and you can add in basically whatever you want you can make different designs different shapes so i've started doing some of that and i have really enjoyed making it so i thought i would start selling them i will put my instagram here so you can see what it is, it is just Bon underscore designs UK and I thought I would show you some of the pieces I've got, some I want to make, basically just share this because I am so excited and I'm absolutely loving making these. So the main item I am making is resin horseshoes and these are from a mould that is actually from a horseshoe, they look quite realistic and I'm just so so proud of these. A lot of people seem to like them so these are a couple this is just one that has just got gold flakes in so it's clear just with gold flakes when i'm showing all these i'll put a picture after so you can see exactly what it looks like as i know it doesn't always show up but this is just very very simple and yeah i think that was one of the first ones i made so i was very very proud of this I've also made this which is like a peachy shimmery kind of colour, if you get it in the light it really does shimmer and this also has silver flakes inside so as you can see it has like the dip here for like a natural horseshoe wood which is where the nails would go, they're also little, not holes but like indents where a nail would go and the back is completely flat as obviously this would go against your horse but yeah that is this peachy one, again really like this then I also had to go with alcohol inks, so these you add in then you have to add another colour on top and it sort of sinks down, it gives like a really amazing effect, but it does take a bit of practice, I will say that. So this is the resin horseshoe that I did, as you can see it's got red, orange and then yellow at the bottom, and then the white obviously. I was very very impressed with how this turned out, I did not think it was going to work. And then this is the back, this is just one of these that you could have either way around, whichever you prefer. I just thought it was so cute and I can't really show you in a minute, like on camera, but it has like a design, you can sort of see it rising up and I just think it looks really really good, it is so effective. This is definitely one you have to see in person because it looks so much better. And then also with these horseshoes, as well as being able to choose your own petals or flakes you have included in the shoes, I have also been doing them with horsehair. So if you have your own horse, you can have the horsehair put into the shoe along with your choice of petals or flakes, like I said. And it's just a really nice keepsake. It's some part of your horse that you can keep in the house. Obviously, you can't really have your horse in the house. I mean, I'm sure I would if I could, but I don't think it would go down very well. But this is the one I've made from my horse Bonnie's hair. So this is here. And then I used rose flakes and gold, no, rose petals and gold flakes. And this definitely seems to be one of the favourite designs, like these two colours together with horse hair. Quite simple, it's effective, but it just looks amazing. And that is it from the back. So as you can see, the horse hair is actually inside. And I just love this, we've got it in the window and it just looks amazing if I do say so myself. I've always wanted something like a keepsake from Bonnie because like I said, she is older. I absolutely love her to pieces. So it's just nice to have a bit of her in the house. And then this is another one. This actually has flaxen mane in it, well hair. Um, and this is with silver flakes and two different shades of purple um, petals which I've actually dried myself I've learned how to do that I'm quite proud and this is again from the back you can't really see the hair as well in this because it is light 
you can definitely see a lot better in person but this is actually for a present I am very very excited to give it them tonight So those are just a few of the selection of the horseshoes. I have actually sold a few as well and I'm just hoping that their new owners love them. Like I said, I can make them either with just flakes, with just petals, a mixture of the two, with horse hair, or I can have another go with the alcohol inks as well because you can get so many different colours for those. But I've also been doing coasters and this again was another go with, with alcohol inks. This was a first attempt so they're not brilliant. But these are like four little pieces again with the alcohol inks these also have gold flakes in the corner and these just join together to make a big circle again a picture will be put up now but i just think these are so cute like you could have this in the center of your table or four pieces together and i think it would just look so effective i will of course be doing different designs and colors with these this was just the first attempt and it's not bad i'm actually quite pleased with these Obviously you can just use a one piece on its own like that, but that makes it just a big circle. I think it's incredible. And like I said, I have been doing coasters. So these are like Geo Effect or, um, there's another name for it, I can't remember. But this is black with gold flakes in the center. So I can see it sort of goes into this effect. I've also put gold edging on this one and I just think it just adds such an amazing little extra. It makes it look a lot more expensive. And like I said, these are completely solid. You can't break it, you can't even bend them. So these are definitely going to last. That is a black one. I've also done a clear one with an orange slice in it. And this is a bit thicker because obviously it's got the orange in, but again, I've put the gold around it. And I thought this was really effective. Again, you can't feel the orange slicing, it's completely in the rock hard. I just thought that was so cute. And it's quite, again, quite simple, but with the orange slice, it just makes it quite different. This would just look amazing in your home, maybe just on the side. You could put your rings on it, something like that. And then this is the other design I did. It's the first attempt at this, so it's not brilliant. And then one of the other designs is this for coasters. I've tried to do sort of like a flower. It was my first attempt at this. So it hasn't gone perfectly, but I've learned quite a bit, so I know how to do it in future. This is with white pearl, so it does actually have a shine to it. And then the black in the middle with black glitter. And I just think actually looks really really good it's quite effective and i can't wait to have another go at doing this one of the other coasters is this it is like a hexagon shape and it does have an edge as well so this is quite good as like a trinket dish this is my first attempt so it isn't perfect and this is not for sale either this is just for me uh this has just got petals in as you can see but I think this is really good maybe for drinks as well or just like a little trinket dish put your jewellery on, something like that I think it's really cute and then lastly is key rings as you can see here these are letter key rings so this is one with the key ring attached and this also has horse hair in it as I can do key rings with horse hair too so this is it just here, it is white so you can't see it perfectly again, picture will follow and this is with blue flakes with silver and I can also do gold and then these are just some of the other letters I've done these don't have the key rings yet as I want if someone buys it they can choose if they want silver or gold so this is a T and this has pink flakes no pink petals and silver flakes I just think this is so cute and it's going to look really really good with I just think this is going to look really cute when it's got the key ring on I've also done a black E you can have this sort of whichever way around you prefer um, it does have a slight bit of glitter in but it's just mainly just black quite simple I just think it's quite effective really just Plain, simple, not too fussy. 
I also have this, and I think this might be one of my favourites. This is an A, and this is with tiny little yellow petals and with gold flakes. Again, just looks really cute. Obviously, the key ring will go from here. I think this will look really good with a gold key ring, like the hardware. We have a G, and this has purple hydrangea, which I've drive myself, rose petals I've drive myself, which are yellow, and then it has a lilac flakes. And they are actually some of my new flakes. I'm always buying more. But I just think this is, again, really, really cute. And the key ring will probably go from here. Also, we have another L. This is with, like, longer yellow petals and copper flakes. And I think this, again, might be one of my favourites. I absolutely love this. And, of course, my name's Laura, so I can keep this for myself forever. But this will also be for sale as well. Just have a plain M. This is just completely clear. There is nothing in it. And yeah, just like the E. Simple if someone just wants something simple, doesn't want all flakes and colours and all that. I also do make bookmarks, but at the minute I've just sold all them, so I don't have any to show you. Most of them are just coasters at the minute and like for the horseshoe and things. Everything I have shown you apart from the two with the horse hair and the keyring with the horse hair, they are all for sale. And if you want to go to my Instagram, all the prices and everything on there. But just to round it up, the keyrings just without horse hair are £6. They are £8 if you want horse hair in. Each of the coasters just for a single one like this is 10 And if you want four, they are £35. And then the horseshoes, just like these, the ones that are, don't have any horse hair in, they are 18 and then they are £20 with horse hair. The postage on all of these really just depends on what you order, so obviously a keyring is going to be less than a horseshoe. But it's normally around £3.10, which is the standard charge of what my post office is. And like I said, I am making all of these myself. They are all completely handmade. And a lot of the petals I use now, I have dried myself. So I think that really adds a little bit something special to them. And like I said, if you are doing, if you want to order something, you choose exactly what colours are used, what flakes, what petals. If you get a keyring, you get the choice of either silver or gold hardware. So it really does make it custom to you. And I think that is a really nice touch, as that is something I would like to buy. And that is why I'm making them that way. As I have said with the horseshoes, you can add your own horse's hair in as well, so I think that is just an amazing keepsake. Again, with the key rings as well, you can also add horse hair to them as well. But yeah, I would love to know what you think, and I would be so, so grateful if you could give my page a follow. Like I said, I really just enjoy making these, and of course I do want to sell them as well, as I want other people to get the enjoyment from looking at them, something that they have had custom made for you as well. But yeah, I would love to know what you think, and please, please give my page a follow. I would be eternally grateful. Also, let me know which of these pieces is your favourite. Or is there something... Oh, or is there another mould you think I should get? Is there something you think I should make? I am, of course, adding to this all the time. I'm always buying extra things to put in the resin, different moulds, different colours, all of that. So you can be kept updated on that on my Instagram page as well. Again, it is bon underscore designs UK. It will be on the screen right now and also linked in the description bar below. But yeah, I just really want to share this with you. I also would love for you to follow the page. If you'd like to buy anything as well, you can send me a message either on Instagram, on Facebook. I'll leave a link to that as well. You can email me. Basically, anywhere you can think of you, if you would like to buy one, I'll be very, very grateful. And like I said, they are made purely for you. They are made to order. But anyway, I hope you like this. Please let me know what you think. What was your favourite? Anything like that. And I will see you soon in another video. Bye.